Hi there, welcome back to The Nomadic Budgeter. My name is Christine and on this channel we use zero-based budgeting as well as cash envelopes to fund some pretty big adventures on a variable income. If you're new here, I am a seasonal worker, which means I work seven to eight months out of the year and I save for my spending and living expenses bills for that time bridging the gap between my work contracts. I work winter and summer. So right now I am finishing up with my winter contract. I have a, a month left here. And so I'm making a priority to fund for that time that I'll be traveling full time in between until I start work again in June. All right, all that said, uh, I am excited because today we are planning for $777. The past couple of weeks, my paychecks have been short since I was out sick for a total of three days that bridged the, over two weeks. And we're gonna do start with uh, the bills. So first one up is Adobe, and that is gonna be $12, oh, sorry, Adobe is $10 actually. A lot of my other bills are 12, but this one is 10. And then insurance, I am just slowly trying to fund that to uh, build up to that premium. So we are at $20 right now. And I'm gonna try to get a little bit ahead on Verizon, which is my cell phone, and I'm gonna throw $5 into that envelope. So that's 10, 25, do we need a calculator for that? I don't know, <laughs> it's $35, what the heck? $35, <laughs> and then that leaves me with 742 remaining. Okay, groceries, $50, and finding is really where I need to be with that. Dining out, it's working for me to be at $15. Drinks, $15. Gas, and my bare minimum needed to get to and from work is 40. And then I am gonna throw $10 into spending this week since it's been a few weeks since I've done that at all. So in my wallet, that puts 130. So that gets me to 612 remaining here. Okay, high priority. So I have my top five high priorities. Thankfully, taxes is knocked out. We are good there and don't need to put anything into taxes. Month ahead is getting extra today. So if you watched my last cash stuffing weekly planning video, if not, I'll link it here. Since my paycheck was so short, I wasn't able to put in, these are basically the minimum amounts that I wanna be putting into these envelopes each week to hit my goals by the time I finish my work contract here. I wasn't able to fully fund, um, it was month ahead and travel with my last paycheck. I also was not able to fully fund emergency, but we're okay with that right now. But I wanna catch these two up so that I don't have to dip into this later. So um, I need to add, I was, tw I was $27 short. I think I did $53 a month ahead last time. So I wanna do 107 there. And debt is getting its regular 40 because I've been on track with that. Emergency, we'll come back to that and see where it lands, but travel was a uh, short, how much did I put in last time? I wanna say it was 200 even, so I need to add an extra $23, so that's six, four, two, $246 to travel. Okay, that leaves me with um, two hundred and nineteen dollars total. I want to make sure I'm putting some money into my sinking funds. Um, since my emergency fund is in a decent spot right now, um, I find that if I'm not funding anything into these sinking funds, I will end up dipping into emergency fund because everything feels like an emergency if you haven't planned for anything. Um. So I think I'm gonna, let's see. 
Uh, let's see what I have in emergency right now. And see if I can just get it to like a round number. So right now I have 267. So oops, if I wanna get it to 2100, I can add $33. That's good, I'll do that. I'll add $33 and commit to that. So we're gonna do 33 here. Oops. Okay, so we have 186 remaining. I think, let me just check. Okay, so 107 plus 40 plus 33 plus 246. Okay, 426 going into those high priority funds. That's a lot. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's 186 remaining here for these funds. Um, starting with car maintenance. Um, what do I wanna do? Well, let's not start there. Let's start P.O. Box um, needs $7 as part of it its annual building, my sinking fund, and registration gets five. So seven plus five, now let's go here, 186 minus seven minus five, bear with me. Okay, um, provisions, let me look at some of these and see if I can just like get them to, sometimes it's just nice to try to get them to round numbers. Provisions is 96 so four. I want to give it okay I'm gonna give it 24 so it will be at 120 130 120 20 <laughs> yeah so let's go 24 um, car maintenance Sorry to keep pulling this out. We're just gonna leave that one down because he wants to live there. Car maintenance is at 108. So let me give it $2, but my bare minimum is 18. So I'm gonna bump it up to 22 for car maintenance. Um, we're gonna come back to these two. Self-care. I want to put 40 into self-care. Um, wardrobe, we'll come back. Actually, where? Okay, let me pull out this other binder. Oh, geez. <laughs> I'm kind of a klutz right now. Okay, so let's see. So we did 40 for these. Okay, wardrobe is at 56. So I'm going to give it 14. Okay, 14 for wardrobe. Hobbies is at 33. Ooh, was I? Okay, let me go back. 186 minus 24 minus 22 minus 7 minus 5 minus 40 minus 14 minus hobbies. Um, 7, let's give it 17. I think I'm good with that, 17. Okay, 57 left. Outings has five. I wanna give that 10. Comforts, mm, not really a huge priority. Celebrations, mm, okay, we'll come back to those. Gifts is at 41, so I'm gonna give that $9. And that puts me at 38. I have, mm -mm -mm. one, two, three, four. Four categories left. So let's go with technology. Mm. I wanna give this $10. And then medical, let's see. Uh, actually, let me grab this one real quick. Medical is at, let's see if 
it's an unnamed number. It is, it's at nine. So we'll give that just $1. It's okay. $1 here. And then comforts is at $8. Celebrations is at 16. So, hmm. Let's give celebrations $4. And then I have 23 left, which I don't feel like I need. I'll do, hmm. Sorry, I just need to make a decision. Okay, comforts, I'll give $2. And I have $21 left. Did I do my math right? Let's see. I think I need to put, so I will change emergency and I will give it $50. Let me grab my white out. Okay, so let me just run these numbers again just to make sure I'm okay. Plus or minus 35. Mm. Yeah, okay. So let's give this $53, is that what it is? Okay, so let's go here. 107 plus 40 plus 53 plus 426 is 446. That's what this at 53. Okay, so 612 minus 446, 166 remaining. And let's see where we are right now. So 1, 24, 22, 10, 7, 5. Hello, that's at 69. And then self care. Ninety six. Well, one sixty five. So I have one more dollar. I was gonna get it. I feel like I want to give it to Comforts. Yeah. Well, <laughs> hold on. Oh my gosh, it's one dollar, girl. <laughs> get your life together. <laughs> Let's go to Comforts. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so this is 97. <laughs> Hemming and hawing over $1 here like this. You know you're broke. <laughs> okay. That's my budget, my paycheck budget for this coming week. Um, so I will be cash stuffing this in my next video. So stick around, make sure you subscribe if you wanna follow along on the journey. I'm in phase one of my financial journey here. And I thank you for joining me. I'll see you soon, bye.